cyber challenges for the Muslim world. So now the forum is with you, sir. Yeah, it's screen problem. Uh, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank uh, Professor Dr. Tasawar Saab for inviting me uh, to this uh, forum and to interact with you people and uh, give my insight about the status of cybersecurity in Pakistan. Uh, so here is a uh, brief about this uh, topic. Uh, that we will cover today. Uh, we have this agenda and we will cover cyber security, what are different uh, attacks, cyber attacks within Pakistan uh, and uh, at international level, uh, where we actually stand at international level and uh, what we are doing uh, to cover all those things. Uh, this is about the speaker. Uh, we have uh, a research group that is working in IoT, smart city, intelligent network, information security, and artificial intelligence. Uh, so far, I, I have contributed a little bit uh, uh, in research as well, especially while talking in front of Dr. Gasauer, it's nothing. Uh, we also have international collaboration in US, Germany, uh, and UK, and we are actively participating uh, with all those collaborators and a few of our students are also studying there uh, for their research activities. Now, here is uh, the first slide, uh, physical versus cyber security. So uh, as we have covered some space uh, on chair, that is our physical space. And similarly, uh, we have some existence uh, online as well uh, and uh, as you know we all have a part of uh, uh, existence on social media uh, through our profile uh, we also have our email addresses we also have our digital uh, accounts uh, which we can access through internet uh, while we are sleeping still the cyberspace exists and people are interacting with that cyber space, which is there. They are sending you messages. They are commenting on your uh, pictures, on your documents, and many things. So, uh, though you are not physically there, but people are interacting uh, virtually with your cyber space. Uh, here you can see uh, cyber is a French word. And, uh, the theme or the meaning is that the art of governing, how you can govern this, that space, will be allowed. And as you know, the things are getting mature day by day. You have now new facilities like profile locking uh, in Facebook. You have uh, uh, this permission that who can see what content on your profile who you can block. Now you can exclude many people from your WhatsApp status that they may not see what you are sharing over there. So this is actually the goal of that space. And similarly, to provide security, that space is very important. Uh, and now, uh, if you have a look, we are more connected virtually than physically. And that is very clear from uh, this website. Um, these pictures as well, or these images as well, that everyone is physically somewhere, but virtually in some other places. They are interacting with different people. They are uh, taking a note, they are commenting, they are liking, they are sending emails, and all those things are taking place over there. So cyber security is a good news space, and it has no boundary, no mask, and no gravity. Uh, why cyber security? And uh, if we have a look, uh, the world most valuable resource is no longer time, but data. 
And we have now the ten clients that include Tesla, Facebook, Google, Microsoft, Google, and Amazon. And most of these companies are providing services to users across the globe. So therefore, uh, first of all, you do registration with all those companies. You provide your personal information. And in some cases, it might be some payments are also involved. You, you share your credit card information with them. You, you provided them uh, all your personal credentials and those credentials might be used uh, later on if you forget your password, if you lost your account. So uh, in some situation, it is mandatory to share those personal information who, uh, which are only known to you people rather than anywhere else. And if you forget your password or you lost your account, you might be in a position to retrieve your account back. So that's why uh, cybersecurity protects organizations, individuals from cyber attack, data breaches, identity theft, and other types of crimes as well. And it ensures that sensitive data may not be lost. And I told you about that your credit card information, your password, your bank uh, transaction information, or even you are interacting with someone online is your personal space, which might be under considerable threat anytime. These are some biggest security breaches in the 21st century. And you can see that Yahoo was a take back in uh, 2013 and 14, and 1.5 billion user accounts was compromised. And, they, and, and look at this, what kind of data exists in those accounts? Just imagine about, and, and whose life might be at threat. You have seen uh, multiple instances where uh, many uh, young people have taken their lives because of these security breaches. Then onward, look at the next one, where four, four 12 million accounts have been compromised, then in eBay, and then in Sony plan, uh, many accounts have been compromised, and that also include breach of uh, it means authentic and uh, uh, financial information that has been shared with their uh, with the company. Uh, I have also added uh, the link at the bottom of this slide, so you can review it later on uh, for detail. Yeah, uh, top eight breaches in uh, 2023. And the first one is with T-Mobile. And you know, now we are mostly using our mobile phone for everything rather than our computer. And that's why just have a look to the T-Mobile, which is the main uh, service provider, our cellular network in the United States. Then the young brand, you can see they have many uh, chains that include KFC, Taco Bell, Pizza Hut, and that was compromised April 2023. And we always do payments through our credit cards. So it means that our passport and our credit card information is available to all those attackers who have access to their database. Then onward, chain GPT. March 20, uh, and now we are at ChatGPT 4. So once it was uh, down and they were going to update it to ChatGPT 4, the attack has been launched against that as well. And then onward, Chick fil A, which is again a company, and that against in March 2023, another attack has been launched. And look at this, they are mostly looking uh, for your personal information which can be used against you. And then onward, also looking for some financial benefits as well. And, and you will pay them uh, by you will. They, they, they will actually use different tools uh, where identity will not be mentioned to whom you are transferring that money. Here is the uh, National Cyber Power Index uh, of 2020. And you can see the United States is at the top, then China, UK, and uh, we are nowhere. 
here's the uh, overall score, and you can see their capabilities as well uh, to achieve the cyber security. Here, Pakistan, where we stand, Pakistan is at 79 worldwide in cyber security. Uh, and uh, this is actually, this article has been published by Omar Baloch uh, from National Defense University with Brigadier Mohammed Tariq Niyas. So Pakistan cybersecurity governance challenges and way forward, it means uh, so far uh, we are nowhere. If we are at 80th position, it means we have done nothing. And we need to seriously think about it as well. Now uh, here is Pakistan, the 70th worst in cyber security as well. And look at this, we are with Algeria, Indonesia, Vietnam, uh, Tanzania, Uzbekistan, Bangladesh, and you can see the overall score against uh, different parameters that has been fixed to uh, evaluate the status of any country in cyber security. Uh, Global Cyber Security Index, uh, this is actually a screenshot uh, from a channel, an Indian channel, and they actually uh, shared it as an achievement that global cybersecurity index in India in top 10 beats China and Pakistan. So, so they consider it as their achievement that we are more secure, our, our cyberspace is more secure as compared to uh, Pakistan and China. And you can see the reason behind uh, such kind of uh, news is that all the tech companies uh, of US is now going to open their offices in India. Tesla, Elon Musk just a month before visited India and similarly the Microsoft and other uh, tech giants are already there. The state of cybersecurity in Pakistan, look at this, the first thing is lack of cybersecurity infrastructure. Unfortunately, we don't have we have too many things in document, but once it comes to ground reality, we don't have anything. Then uh, in 2021, the Pakistani banking sector suffered a massive cyber attack. And, and, and look at the intentions uh, of the authorities that still no action has been taken so far. I will share the insight of a cybersecurity uh, report that has been published by PTA that what they have covered in that report as well. That was uh, against National Bank, and later on that deny that no information or no data has been leaked under this attack. Uh, uh, but actually, through international media, you can see it resulted in the loss of many million US dollars. And then onward, uh, another article, Cybersecurity, where does Pakistan stand against uh, by uh, some students? And look at this. Pakistan is no exception. A nuclear state with an important geopolitical position is increasingly exposed to such threat in the cyber world. So, so uh, one thing that he has been mentioning uh, that it might be a threat for nuclear assets as well later on. Once we will provide connectivity because you have to operate it from remote location. Then I will work, is cyber security important for Pakistan? And this is the statement of federal minister for ID over 90,000 hacking incidents take place in country day. And there is no information how many people or how many attack has been addressed so far, how much control they have. So once there is no data, it means there's no infrastructure to attack such control or to handle them or to, to take the precautionary measures against uh, those things. Uh, the sources has already been given at the bottom of every slide that you should uh, study later on if you have any interest. The biggest data breach in the history of Pakistan and that was uh, with the National Bank. You can see here, Pakistan, uh, yeah, that was the National Bank incident uh, in which uh, they have lost many millions of dollars. Uh, so far, they are trying their best to make some documents related to uh, take actions, uh, but up to this extent, uh, implementation or deployment of all those policies 
uh, is not uh, very satisfactory. Uh, so they have uh, designed uh, some sort of policy, uh, cyber crime agency has been established and so on. Uh, there's no end in sight for audio video leaks. And look at this introduction of stronger laws, can't curb practice until departments who engage in surveillance are held accountable. And this was an article published in SEF 2023. A uh, cyber attack on banking sector on, uh, on the national bank, as we discussed a little bit about that, that and uh, that is the top bank of Pakistan. And the status is uh, very clear from these attacks that everything uh, is so far compromised. And uh, one of the major flaw here is that the software they are using are very uh, uh, outdated. Uh, so we will give some recommendation as well later on that how we can improve and how we can address these issues. Uh, here are security measures against uh, cyber attack. The first one is individual security. The first thing that you should be aware of it, that how you can handle your cyber space, how you can uh, make it, uh, make sure that who is accessing your information and who uh, have the legitimate right to access your information as well. Then onward the technical security as well, that you have to check your server, your software, and so on. Even uh, in today's world, uh, every country is almost trying to have their own software, uh, their own autonomous system. And the, uh, the, the reason behind that is that there are some loopholes which might be later on exposed by those developer itself, and they use it to blackmail the institution or the organization. Uh, to get some benefits. Uh, so every department have uh, their own R&D center and they are trying to have their own software there as well. Uh, then onward insight and internal team and data security as well that we can prevent our attack. The first thing is even if attack happens, then we should uh, minimize the destruction, the disturbance as well. So for that purpose, we might have the loophole as well. And uh, you have seen on social media and in email account that they have started now two-factor authentication. One is through uh, your uh, mobile phone and another one is through your laptop. So you have to verify, you have to provide those information uh, from two, two different devices, then onward you will be able to use your own account. Uh, Pakistan foreign ministry data breach. And that was actually hacked. The website, the official website was hacked by uh, Indian hackers as well. Then where is Pakistan in the world of cybersecurity and what can Pakistan do to become stronger against cybersecurity? Look at this, there are certain case studies as well. The league civil massive region security at PM office. So that is by itself a, a, a message to the community, if the top office of the country is compromised, so where individual security stands. And, and this is very unfortunate that we should have the response that what actions or what uh, uh, measures they have taken so far to avoid such incident in future as well. Uh, here is the top cyber security budget around the globe, and you can see US with 18 billion UK and so on. And in 2025, they are expecting that it will be uh, almost uh, 500. And some even some researchers say it will be more than trillion because everything is going now online. And that's why every country has to spend something on that. Here is the big tech. Look, look at this situation. US is spending, US government is spending 18 billion by itself to secure the space. And these are the tech giants who are spending uh, beyond that. So that includes Google, that includes uh, Amazon, uh, Facebook, Apple, Microsoft. So they have their own budget to secure their users, to secure their cyberspace, and to ensure that where they are interacting is a reliable and trustworthy place uh, with the community. Uh, here is again, uh, look at this, uh, uh, published by India, and that is 
facet of national cyber security. And you can see uh, secure the national cyber space, then standardize, and then how we can strengthen. And look at this strengthening is totally based where the budget is involved. And once you strengthen uh, your infrastructure, then you will be able to achieve the other parameters as well. Uh, PTA formulated cyber security framework, and that is look at this back in 2022, almost just a few months back. And here is the cyber security annual report. I have studied these reports, and they have just given that who is the uh, registered auditor to do audit for this. It's very unfortunate. I think they should publish that how many SAAs we discussed about the prime minister office. We have discussion about the national bank. They should discuss what kind of attack that was and how we mitigate it and why it should not happen in future as well. And how we secure our website. I have shown you the website that has been hacked by Indian hackers. So, so how we address all those things that the government's cyberspace and uh, uh, property, virtual property is uh, secure. And if you uh, interact with them, so you just consider yourself in a trustworthy environment. Uh, this is also available, this report here on this link as well, so you can have a look. Uh, then uh, challenges, look at this lack of infrastructure. We, I think we should accept and then onward take steps to mitigate this issue. Then onward, there is no budget allocation. For cybersecurity, so far, there is no specific budget allocation. Then uh, there was a, a School of Internet Governance actually proposed by uh, Arshit Saab, we just had discussion when he was uh, ED HEC. And I was part of that, but unfortunately, nothing happened over there as well. Then onward, lack of responsibility. Who is responsible for all these issues? Have you seen anyone in National Bank? Have you seen anyone uh, in any other office that he is responsible for these breaches? So once you don't fix the responsibility of these breaches, then uh, it means you don't you don't know from where all these things has been controlled. So so that's why. The one of the recommendations that I mentioned earlier that we should have buffer zones as well. And for every zone, there should be a responsibility succession with infrastructure as well. Then lack of awareness as well. Most of the people don't, don't know. If they receive a message of a lottery, they will definitely respond and provide all the personal information. If they receive any other kind of email, especially uh, on Valentine days, then they will respond to all those things. And that is another breach by security. There are some uh, bombs that has been uh, uh, related to date, that has been related to certain events, that has been related to your action or clicking on some point. So once you perform that action, automatically all those viruses will be part of your computer. And that is with your permission. You can't later on deny that the terms and condition with every software or uh, every tool you use is already there. And we blindly agree with all those. And everything or every illegal uh, software that installed on system comes with our permission. And here is cyber security of Pakistan. And that responsibility is taken up to some extent by Air Force, Pakistan Air Force, and uh, they have established a uh, national center for cyber security. How to increase or justify your cyber security budget? This is a very important thing. And the first thing is that you should realize that cyber security is important. And later on, you upgrade the hardware, the software, train your people, and then onward, uh, as I to uh, told you, you have a complete infrastructure for cyber security as well. So, so we are still thinking on this tip that cyber security is important for us. Uh, this is the National Center for Cyber Security that has been established uh, by Higher Education Commission and uh, many labs have been established so far. And then uh, Pakistan introduced its first ever 
National Cyber Security Academy as well. That, that is inaugurated by President of Pakistan again in Air University, uh, but so far uh, uh, not started yet, uh, and uh, it's still in process. Uh, in Air University, yes. In this is uh, the, the top failure of the world. But look at this, Nokia was a brand just like iPhone today. And why they failed not adopting the environment, poor future prediction, poor strategies, and poor confidence. And today, we satisfy all those conditions. And look at their CEO in tears. He said, we didn't do anything wrong, but somehow we lost. And uh, very unfortunate uh, that we should realize and we should take lesson from the history as well. That Nokia is no more in the market. Uh, thank you so much for my side. And if you have any questions, we can ask.